morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is I, Matthew, aka Snacks XXV, here again with video number seven, and I am super excited, as always, to be here with you guys. But there's something I gotta talk about today. Something happened to, not even to me, it happened to my cousin, and it, it's really kind of bothering me. So I wanted to get it off my chest and talk a little bit about what happened. So. First of all, when you think about gaming and we think about all the things we spend our hard earned money on, one thing that we should always get when we're spending our money is good customer service. And that's one thing that I look for when I go to different stores, when I use specific services, I want a great customer service experience because I work hard as all of us do. We work very hard for our money. So it's important that we get that good customer service that we're looking for across the board. Well, a lot of times that doesn't happen. And in the case of my cousin, that's kind of what we're experiencing. So um, my cousin is a big Mortal Kombat player. He's really good. Um, he was playing a game with some guy on the internet a few days ago, and it came to his attention that my cousin beat him, first of all. Let's get that straight. My cousin whooped him. And apparently, the guy reported my cousin as of having an inappropriate gamer tag. Now, my cousin did have the word pimp, P-I-M-P, -P, in his gamer tag. That is not the worst thing I've ever heard. Um, so he did have that word in his gamer tag and maybe a few days later, possibly even the next day, Microsoft changed his gamer tag to Swift Colt. Now think about that. So you're playing a game, you use a service that you pay $60 a month for. The game itself is $60. That's $120 um, dollars that you're paying for a service and a game to play online. Um, you get to choose your identity on that on the, on that service. You choose an, a name that's not terribly offensive. It has the word pimp in it, but I could think of a lot worse words that could be chosen for your gamer tag. And my cousin definitely could think of 15,000 worse words to use in his gamer tag, but the word pimp I don't think was was necessarily a terrible one. Well, anyway, they changed his gamer tag to Swift Colt. And then he had to pay $10 to change it back to something that he wanted. You know what? It's kind of like you're at your favorite restaurant and you order your favorite chicken sandwich, but 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 somebody in the lobby doesn't like that chicken sandwich or is offended by that chicken sandwich, so they snatch it out of your hand and make you buy a chicken sandwich that they like. Just based off of one complaint with his gamer tag. Now, do I think that that's fair? Do I think it's reasonable? Now, my gamer tag is Snacks XXV. It's pretty simple. Um, but however, if somebody found my gamer tag offensive and it was to change, I would be very upset. I'd be extremely upset. Um, not only because I'm paying for a service, I'm paying for games to play, I'm putting a lot of money into your service and for you to quickly change my gamer tag without notifying me, um, without telling me that there was a problem, without recommending any other steps to take, that to me is a disservice. So my cousin bit the bullet, paid $10 to change his gamer tag, which he recently changed. He just changed to that gamer tag maybe two to three months ago. And uh, to pay another $10 to Microsoft in order to do that, I think is poor customer service. Now, when he did call Microsoft, they didn't offer him any other solutions. They just said, go to the forums and request that uh, they lift the ban from your name or something like that, which isn't a really good good option you never know when you go on those forums if a moderator is going to reply or respond to what you need so i don't think that that was great customer service and i'm a little disappointed in microsoft for doing things that way now on the other side of things sometimes we get great customer service and that's one thing we strive after but what i want to know is have you guys ever experienced that before to me that was a policy i wasn't familiar with I've never really heard of and I thought was stupid personally. Um, I understand if your gamer tag includes curse words or racial slurs or other things like that, but the word pimp, there's far worse options and I don't really think that that violates code of conduct. The next thing I kind of want to discuss is this shirt I'm wearing here. It's my Majora's Mask polo shirt. Um, great customer service experience I had here um, when I went to Pack South with my cousin and my brother um, and a couple other buddies. Uh, we went down to San Antonio, we went to Pack South, and I ordered this shirt like 
two days before like an idiot. I really wanted to wear this shirt down to PAX South. Um, and I ordered it from Fangamer.net. Fangamer.net. And I was super excited to get it. So I, I was like, oh my gosh, I ordered this shirt too late. So what I did is I chatted them. They have a chat option on their website. And I said, hey, could you guys... um please send me my shirt a little bit sooner because I waited too late to order it. The guy immediately went, the guy I was chatting with, I don't remember his name, I wish I did, um, immediately went and put my order in a shipping status. He shipped it right away during the chat. So within five minutes of me chatting them, my order was in a shipping status and on its way to my house and I got it before we went to Pack South, which is great customer service now. In the realm of customer service, like I said, I want to hear what you guys think. Great customer service experiences and terrible customer service experience. I want to hear them both. Um, thank you guys for watching. This was a short video, just something on my mind today. Kind of was bumming me out. Thank you so much for watching and you guys have an awesome day.